so very good afternoon everyone in this video i am going to give you an overview about international council for harmonization that is the ich as in earlier lectures we have discussed about every country has its own regulatory authorities so uh, to harmonize the process uh, there is a international it's earlier is a international conference uh, of harmonizations of technical requirements for pharmaceuticals for human use and uh, uh, this founding member of ICH are your EU European Union and uh, USFDA and Japan so the uh, regulatory and this ICH contains uh, representative from regulatory authorities as well as from pharmaceutical industries so the major objective of ICH to uh, reduce the duplications of the data so what this ICH is as i told you international conference now it's a international council later on in 2005 ich has included others uh, other countries also being a member uh, in the, the question might be uh, might be why uh, these three country are involved in uh, harmonization process the reason might be uh, because most of the new chemical entities are discovered in this region uh, particularly eu us and japan so that's why uh, they are facing this problem and they uh, they taken the steps to harmonize the process so if some country one country uh, is following a ich guideline there is no need to repeat or uh, that uh, particular experiments in ich regions so as i told you it's a joint initiative uh, uh, of uh, both regulators and industry as equal partner and major objective is to ensure and assess the safety quality and efficacy of medicines so this eu japan and united states as I told you uh, why there is a need to harmonize the process. This is the initial structure of ICH, six party, three observer, and representative from uh, industries. Right. So uh, you can get much more detail uh, about these uh, from the websites uh, of ICH. I am just going to discuss. These are the guidelines. They come up with the guidelines of efficacy in E1, E2, E3, E4, E5. Then E6, E7, uh, the quality guidelines, then your safety guidelines, then your uh, your multidisciplinary guidelines. So important point related to ICH is, uh, as I told you, ICH is considered to prevent the unnecessary duplication of the studies. Because if you are unnecessary duplicate the study, it will increase the cost and ultimately it will affect the populations. So uh, this ICH uh, uh, is who is the uh, who is funding this ICH? Funding is uh, from the annual membership fees has to be paid by the members. Uh, earlier only the ICH founding uh, members are paying the fees, but after 2018 all the members uh, of ICH has to pay the fee. Uh, if you see in the in this right corner, you can find this is the founding regulatory member fees of 2021. Uh, these are the industrial members and you can see there is a less fees for the uh, for the uh, members who are not founding members so founding member has to pay much more fees as compared to the other member and other things you can observe uh, the observer uh, has not paid any fees right so uh, currently uh, members 17 members uh, in ICH uh, some of the countries like Brazil Singapore Canada, Republic of Korea, China, Switzerland, Turkey are the members of ICH, full fledged members. Observer are 34, Argentina, and India is also the observer, not the member of ICH. Uh, I hope soon it's going to become a member of ICH. Mexico, Israel, Colombia, Jordan, Malaysia, Iran, Russia, South Africa, these all are the observers, like that there are 34 countries and 17 uh, are members. Uh, observer has no right to vote. Uh, the observer uh, is just only do the observations of the conference they can attend this meeting but they have only role of observing and uh, uh, observer can nominate the expert members uh, members that that is the role of observer that's why uh, observer to uh, become being a observer you, you, you should not pay any fees also and these meetings has been conducted by annually basis means in one year you have meet these meetings at least two times and currently uh, for efficacy there are 20 uh, subsections e1 e2 e3 like that 
E6 is uh, for good clinical practice, E7, E8, for different purposes related to efficacy. Related to safety, uh, safety there is a 12 sections. S1, S2, like S1 is for carcinogenicity, S2 is for reproductive toxicity, like that. Uh, there are different sections of uh, safety. Qualities uh, are 14, Q1, Q2, Q3, related to impurities, related to validations, and multidisciplinaries are 13 uh, sections are there. And uh, to uh, promote the transparency of these meeting, uh, whatever the discussion has been happened in a meeting, uh, I, uh, it will be updated on the ICH website. You just do a Google, so you will get much more information about the ICH. Uh, there is a uh, term that is CTD. CTD is a common technical document. Uh, uh, suppose you become a ICH members and you have conducted your study as per ICH guideline, uh, but you have not provided the data in a common format, it's very difficult to uh, do the assessment of this type of data. So uh, they come up with a uh, concept that uh, they have created a common technical document that all the quality, safety, efficacy and multidisciplinary information in a common format to uh, speed up the reviewing process. So this is the important points related to ICH. Uh, thank you.